<laughs> so Mickey's just finished with the farrier. Um, and oh, thanks for grabbing the room. Still really dirty. <laughs> Didn't have enough time to groove him. This is me and you might be wondering, it's me, why are the donkeys back at the horses stables? Um, so today we have a very busy day for all five equines. We have the farrier coming over and then we also have the vet coming over. So I thought I'd make a little vlog showing you what I'm getting up to um, with all the horses, with the vet and the farrier. So we have a very busy day. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that this little guy Bruno actually had some teeth taken out. I think it was about two years ago now. So the vet's also gonna check all their teeth, see how they're going. Um, Mickey's also gonna have a blood test um, because of his Cushing's. They're gonna check his levels. Um, so yeah, we have a very busy day. I need to pick out all of the equines hooves. I need to give Mickey a groom because last night, I was like, okay, I'll let him out naked for a little bit. I was doing the mucking, I was about to put them in. Just before I put them in, Mickey goes and rolls. And I was like, okay, you are filthy, you're wet, you're disgusting. I'm not gonna groom you now. So I've got to groom him this morning as well. But I think the first thing I'm gonna do, after giving Toby another treat, good boy. I'm actually gonna um, muck out all of the stables because I think the first thing I need to do is get that all clean, get the donkeys back in their stable, and then I can start picking out hooves and getting everything organized. Yeah. Donkey kisses. Come on guys, you guys are like my little shadows. You follow me everywhere we go. Come on, out you go. Come on, donkey herding. Out of the stable, I need to muck it out. You too, Toby. Go on. I'd actually finished mucking out the farrier had arrived however I did have enough time to pick out all of the horses and donkeys hooves I just didn't have enough time to give Mickey a groom so he was still a little bit on the dirty side falling asleep in the sunshine still really dirty <laughs> didn't have enough time to groom him Mickey is barefoot, so he doesn't actually have any shoes on, so he sees the farrier a lot less. And we were actually really happy with Mickey's sort of hoof oh. progress, especially as last summer he had laminitis. And um, so his hooves are actually looking really good compared to how they used to be. And he loves to do this thing where he rests his head on my shoulder. I think it's because he loves to put all of his weight on me. Okay, so Mickey's just been finished off with the... Thanks, mate. So Mickey's just finished with the farrier. Um, and oh, thanks for grabbing your green brush. No, 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 no. Okay, so Mickey's now finished with the farrier. He had his hooves trimmed, and they're actually looking so much better than um, they were before because they haven't been the best since he's had his cushings and laminitis and things. However, with his hinds, the farrier did have to put a little bit of purple spray on just where the white lines kind of split kind of a little bit. So, um, we didn't have enough time to groom him before the farrier came, so I'm gonna give him a quick groom before the vet comes because this boy is just absolutely filthy. Like he's covered in so much mud. And yes, when I said Mickey was dirty, he was really, really dirty. Also, I think he's molting a little bit because look at all that coat coming out. He's so floofy. Sometimes when I'm grooming, especially when I'm picking out his hooves as well, Mickey just kind of looks down at me like, hello, human, what are you doing down there? So anyway, it did take me quite a while to get Mickey clean because he was just so dusty and it also made me sneeze. 
Okay, so Mickey is now clean. I finished giving him the groom. He's looking a lot, lot better now. Um, so we're just waiting for the vet to arrive now. So I've just been cleaning, tacking things while I've been waiting. Um, but this guy has the biggest day out of everyone because he's having his teeth done. He's having his flu vaccine and he's having a blood test for his Cushing's. So he's gonna have to go through a lot. He's also had um, the farrier this morning as well. He was actually pretty good. Usually he can be sometimes he can, he leans a lot, like he likes to put all of his weight on the farrier. <laughs> He's like, I can't stand up with three legs, it's impossible. So um, what he likes to do is um, rest his head on my shoulder and he kind of puts all his weight on me. It was actually really cute because when I was younger, um, when I was a lot, lot smaller, he used to rest his head on top of my head. So when I was like that small <laughs> now I'm a lot bigger so um he kind of went from my head to my shoulder and he can just about put his head on my shoulder but he does struggle a little bit so I do have to kind of crouch <laughs> so he actually can and he um if he's licking my hand or licking something while he's having a bit all the farrier yes yes I know I love you um he's a lot better um so yeah the whole time pretty much with the farrier doing his hooves he was just licking my hand so these guys also having their teeth done and I think I might actually give them a little bit of a groom um, because they've had their rugs on um, obviously the last couple of days because it's been so windy and rainy um, so I'm actually going to give him a little bit of a groom uh, because it's quite funny how where the rug's been it's all flattened down and then here it's kind of fluffy so I think it'd be quite nice to give them a little bit of a brush I think they're quite enjoying the naked time as well because it's like oh my goodness the sun is finally out here in England it's like yes so it feels really spring like today I'm actually quite warm um I'm just in like a jumper and a gilet so I might take my body warmer off because I'm getting quite warm guys um so anyway yeah time to give these little guys a groom I think they're loving the sun on their backs hey so we do actually have to rug the donkeys up quite a bit in the winter just because they are desert animals. They're not used to the British wind and rain and their coats just aren't as waterproof. Um, so I'm just giving him a bit of a brush and he's looking a lot better. We also really struggled to find the donkeys rugs that actually properly fit them because we find that the ones that actually are special donkey rugs, number one, they're really expensive, um, but they don't really cover their bellies. They just kind of cover half of them. So at the moment, the rugs they have are actually foal rugs that we got about 10 years ago, I think. And they're not too bad. So I'm just giving Toby a bit of a brush. I think he's actually lost quite a bit of weight recently over the winter, which isn't the worst thing in the world because the donkeys in the summer, we always struggle with them a bit because they gain weight really easily because they're used well they're supposed to barely eat anything like shrubs and stuff um, and in the summer we get a lot of long luscious grass so we do really have to control that quite a bit um, but Toby's looking in pretty good condition actually he's not looking too bad hey oh Toby made me jump there <laughs> didn't realize he was there do you mind if I come through I'm just brushing Bruno there we go So yeah, the donkeys are a little bit feral at the moment. I'm just kind of letting them walk around the hard standing um, on the yard, kind of in front of the stables. But when the vet comes and everything, I don't know if I'm going to put them in the stable. I think we might do them in the stable, but we've got two sort of hooks that we can kind of hook them onto. Kind of a bit like a cross ties, I guess. Casper, do not eat that. He's trying to <laughs> eat the... Um, cross tie kind of bar thing on his stable because he's like guys I'm bored I want to go out in the field but it's like no Casp I've got the vet coming soon <laughs> and I think he knows something's up your head collar could go up a bit it's in the smallest hole no wonder it's drooping a bit on you there we go we'll definitely need that a bit tighter when you're having your teeth looked at because you're not the you're not the easiest of donkeys when it comes to the vet no 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 Bruno loves cuddles. He loves them. <laughs> Bruno. <laughs> this is why you shouldn't kneel with donkeys. Mm. Bruno loves cuddles so much. He loves them. He loves them. He loves them. Yeah. I always think the donkeys more like dogs than actual horses because they're just so tiny. And like, <laughs> yes, it's actually like taking like a Labrador for a walk, hey? Okay? There we go. 
go. Let's get all the shavings out. I was going to say forelock, but it's not quite a forelock really. It's more of a little poof, a little stump of hair. Your little mohican, your little mini mohawk. There we go. There we go. It's always where the shavings get stuck here. Yeah, it's the bits you always forget. Oh, Bruno. Oh, Bruno, you love the cuddles and the scratches. Willow always has the most shavings stuck to her because she loves lying down at night. Um, probably because she has a bit of arthritis, so it just gives her legs a rest when she lies down. But oh my goodness, Willow, you are covered in shavings. She's also like a little woolly mammoth at the moment because look at all that floof. She's like in top floof mode where she's the most floofy. Got so much stuck to your ears, your big floppers. Toby, you've already had a groom, it's Willow's turn. He's like, ooh, I'm so curious about what's happening here. He's looking at the camera like, hello guys. Hello. It's always in your little Mohicans, isn't it, donks? All right, so after grooming the donkeys, the vets then arrived and I'm pretty sure Casper knew something was up. When we do the donkeys, we usually do Bruno first just because he has the worst teeth and he's also the most difficult to do out of all the donkeys. Now Bruno's mouth is all open, Penny is just removing a little bit of food that's still in his mouth. She also gives it a little bit of a washout and then it's time to have a little look inside and see what's happening. While Bruno was having his teeth rasped down, Mickey was so interested and kept watching. Next it was Casper's turn and as you can see here as he's having his mouth washed out, he does look a little bit on the sleepy side, he was also sedated and actually in the end we had to sedate all of our equines apart from Willow. Just just because some horses and donkeys can find it a little bit more stressful just because of the loud noises that's happening but it's not painful at all um, they're in no discomfort is actually to benefit them because what actually happens with horses it has to be done about once a year this teeth rasping or floating because over time gradually the horse's teeth become quite sharp or pointed at edges and this just makes it a lot more comfortable for them Bruno unfortunately has never had the best of teeth. We actually noticed about a week ago that he started quidding, um, which is basically where they've kind of spit out a bit of compact food. Um, so we knew that there was something not quite right about his teeth. And the vet actually found out that he had a tooth that was very loose. So right then and there, he just removed the tooth. And now it's been extracted. Bruno is a lot more comfortable, especially when it comes to eating. He has no issue. Casper was also a really good boy to have his teeth done and look how sleepy he is here. So Casper was actually sedated to have his teeth done and so at the moment it's so cute because he's just so chilled because the last time he had his teeth done he found it a little bit stressy um, so we thought you know what we'll sedate him this time and it's just so cute he's just like half asleep. Just, oh Casper! He's so chilled, he's kind of using the bar to rest his head, which is quite cute, but oh my gosh, I've never seen him this chilled, guys. Oh my gosh, hello. Hello, your bottom lip's very relaxed, hey? Oh, Cass, we just want to give you a big hug. Mickey actually started off not needing any sedation. He's always usually one of the best to have his teeth done. Meanwhile, Casper was just next door chilling. And we were actually joking around how Mickey loves having the dentist come just because I think he just loves the attention from new people. Like you could be anybody and Mickey will want to be your new best friend. And so we were having a little joke around about that. But in the end, we did actually have to sedate him just because he was so interested in what was happening around the corner with Bruno and Toby. I think he thought that he was going to miss out on food or something because as you can see here at the beginning he's always so good at having his teeth done. He was really good at having his mouth washed, having his mouth looked at. But because he was so curious about what was happening around him, he was just wriggling a little bit. So we did have to sedate him in the end. And here he's just got his little head resting up. Because again, he is a horse that likes to rest his head on anything. Even like on the fence, he'll just rest his head on. So here he's having his teeth done, making sure all of the sharp edges are nice and smooth. And he was actually a really good boy in the end. Uh, one arcade, medial one seven, 
Major one nine. Excuse a very sleepy Bruno in the background here, but we always save Willow till last because she's the only one that doesn't need sedation and she's always such a good girl. So we actually sedated Mickey in the end because I, he wasn't like distressed having his teeth in. I just think he was more interested in what was going on around the corner. He kept wanting to look around. Um, so yeah, he's nice and sleepy now. He's had some sleepy juice as well. And oh, Mix. You're so sleepy. You're just not with it, are you? You're just not with it. Oh, his little bottom lip. Hey. Now Mickey's had his teeth done. Um, he's got a bit more fun still to go because he's got to have his flu vaccine, I'm pretty sure. And he's having a blood test to check his levels for his good things. So. Alrighty, so these guys are now all finished with the vet. So the plan is now to put their rugs back on and put them back into their own field. Bruno actually had a tooth removed, but he was a very good boy for that. Um, they've all come back from their sedation now. I've just gone and had my lunch and have come back now. So they're a little, you're a little bit more awake now than you were about an hour ago, aren't you, Bruno? So it's time to put them all back. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, found it interesting, learned a little bit more about... Um, we have to do when owning horses and donkeys as well having to have the vet out about once a year to have all their teeth done they're also really good for the farrier as well so thank you so much guys for watching today's video if you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and i really do appreciate it thanks so much again and i'll see you all next time bye should you put your buggies on and put you back yeah